More bad news from Tokyo. Athletes staying at the Olympic Village have tested positive for COVID-19. Infections have also been reported among media, contractors and other personnel. It's a blow to the local organisers and the International Olympic Committee, who have insisted the Games will not become a super-spreader event. There is no such thing as zero risk, and that we all agree. At the same time, the mingling and crossing of population is incredibly limited. Incredibly limited. And we can ensure that transmission between the various groups is almost impossible. I'm qualifying almost. The event is being held mainly without spectators and under tight restrictions for competitors, which include daily testing, social distancing and no movement outside the Olympic bubble. Polls show that many Japanese oppose holding the Games and protests against the event have been taking place daily. <laughs> The contract between the International Olympic Committee and Tokyo made it clear only the IOC could cancel the event. So if Tokyo had broken the contract and cancelled, the economic losses for the Japanese would have been catastrophic. The budget for Tokyo 2020, which has been postponed by a year due to the pandemic, was set at 10.6 billion euros. But it's been reported that the real cost could actually be double.